Hello, I've got another easy lesson for you guys today. We're going to be talking about how to do math in Python. And it works pretty much the same way as it does, or as you'd expect. So uh, let's just go through some examples just to make everything clear. So we can say 5 plus 3, we get 8, just as we'd expect. So we can say 5 minus 3, we get 2. Um, to do multiplication, we say 5 asterisk 3, we get 15. Or for division, it's 5 slash 3 and this gives us 1.6 repeat and this is what we'd expect so here's where things get a little bit weird if we say 5 double slash 3 then we get 1 so what's going on we're saying take 5 divided by 3 and drop the decimal so that's why you don't see this 0.6 repeating because we're just dropping the decimal entirely this is called flooring a number um, so similarly we can say 5% sine 3 or 5 modulus 3 and this gives us 2. So what's happening here? So we take 5 divided by 3 and we get 1 with 2 left over. Our remainder is 2 and that is what we see here. So the modulus operator gives us the remainder of 5 divided by 3 in this case. So um, lastly we can just talk about exponents. So instead of saying 5 times 5 times 5. I can say 5 double asterisk 3 and this is 5 to the third power which is 125 just as we'd expect. So that's it guys. That's the basics of math and Python. I hope you enjoyed. Oh I forgot to talk about the order of operations so it works the same way in math as it does in programming so that makes it kind of easy on us but uh, let's just do a quick example just to kind of refresh ourselves. Um, so let's say we have, we received three boxes and there's two cans of corn in each box and two cans of beans and we're trying to figure out how many cans we have total. So we can say two cans of corn plus two cans of beans times three boxes. So if there's four in each box and three boxes we should get 12 right but we get eight and that's because of the order of operations and lucky for you guys I found enough money in the budget for a sick teaching aid check this out okay so this is the order of operations uh, this is going to be a quick 30 second refresher so if you need more explanation just google order of operations but basically what happens is the math occurs in a certain order so parentheses happens first then exponents multiplication division happen left to right and same with addition and subtraction they happen at the same time just left to right so what's happening is multiplication and division is higher in priority than addition and subtraction so we take 2 times 3 first, we get 6, and then we add that to 2, and that's how we get 8. So you can see parentheses is the highest in the list. So if we wrap our addition in parentheses, it will happen first no matter what. And then we can you know, hit enter and we see 12. So uh, that was your one minute refresh on order of operations. Thanks for watching, guys.